Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we are going to discuss about, not I am going to discuss, I am going to tell you and I am going to show you how to start the OEM. You know about the OEM. What is OEM? Oracle Enterprise Manager. What is the use of this OEM? To monitor all of your database. Not only database, it can monitor your database operating system. Maybe it can be your Linux server, Windows server. As well as it is helping you to monitor your databases, your all the targets like your listener, agents, your mount point, everything. So I have configured these OEM in my personal laptop. So let me show you how you can start this OEM, Oracle Enterprise Manager. So there are few important things are there which needs to be started. So let me show you practically over the screen. I'm opening my server. The server is already up and running. First of all, I need to connect to the SQL plus utility, which I'm connecting now, SQL plus slash as a Since it is a Oracle 19C database, I need to connect it to the pluggable database. So let me start my container database first, which will start my pluggable database also, because I have already configured in a such way that so I'm just firing the startup command. This will take a time because internally it is going to connect uh, to the no mount and mount and open. So a lot of things Oracle needs to perform internally, right? So it will take. I just started the repository database. Let me show you the, my repository database, show PDBs, which will show you all the pluggable database here. And this is PDB OEM. This is my repository database, which will hold all the information about the pluggable database and all other databases in our OEM. So this is my repository database, which I need to start it. And I have already started that. Once I start my container database, it started my pluggable database also. This is my repository database. So first work is done. Now the second work is we need to start the listener also. So let me start the listener lsnr ctl start let me start the listener it will take some time to start the listener meanwhile let me tell you some of the things see if you want to start the oem the first thing is you need to start the repository database and then you need to start the listener because internally it will try your oem will try to connect to this repository database with the services so this service should be up and running right so i just started my listener now i can see my repository database is also up and running and my listener is also up and running both the things are good let me check the listener status so i'm just firing the command like lsnr ctl and status i can see that my server is really slow because this oem will consume a lot of memory I have already 32 GB of RAM in my system, but still 32 GB is also looking not sufficient. It is sufficient, but we need to close all other applications which are not required. So let me check the status LSNR CTL and status. I'm looking for whether this services has been registered with our listener or not. So if it is registered, then we can go ahead and start other services which are related to the listener. So I'm just checking that. Since the system is really slow, it is taking a time to show me the listener services. So we, we need to wait for some time and we'll get a result. All right, here I can see all the required services. All these services have been registered with the listener. Now, next thing is, we need to start our OMS services. So for that, I'm just firing a command. EMCTL. There is a utility called EMCTL. Start OMS. Now this command will take some time to start your OMS. I may get error message like emctl not found because first of all I need to go to the OMS home. So I let me go that. 
OMS underscore home slash bean slash emctl start OMS. I have already set up my OMS home under the bash profile. So till now what we have done? First of all, we have started our repository database. Second thing, we have started our listener. And third thing, we are starting our OMS. Now this OMS, it's a time consuming process. It will take some time depending on your configuration of your laptop or configuration of your uh, uh, like whatever the resources which you have. It will take some time. Let me give you some hint whether it is possible to install this uh, OEM at your personal laptop. Yes, it is possible. You can do that. But if you have a 16 GB RAM, 8 GB RAM, 12 GB RAM, then it is not possible. I tried with my personal laptop with my old laptop which is having 12 GB RAM it is really really hard so if you want to install OEM in your personal laptop at least you should have 32 GB of RAM so what you can do right away just check what is the current RAM you have and what is the current configuration of your laptop you can just create a ticket with your uh, laptop vendor let's say you are using Dell or HP create a ticket uh, with the Dell or HP uh, they will have a support team available and they will give you a reply it's a completely free of cost you can just raise a request saying like I'm using this uh, particular model tell me what is the maximum amount of RAM I can increase that is the first way second way is you can also install some softwares which will tell you like what is the maximum RAM you can install third way is if you, you need to just Google open the command prompt and they will give you some some sort of command and there itself you can check what is the maximum RAM you can install so in my personal laptop I had a two slot 16 GB in one slot and 16 GB in another slot so if you are using a i5 processor which is an Intel i5 or any AMD processor compared to the i5 I think you can easily go for the 32 GB RAM so you just need to go to the Google or Amazon and uh, from wherever just purchase it and install it I, I, I did not went to any vendor also because of lockdown so I just search it on Google and I myself only install it on my laptop so if I can do then definitely you can also do okay it's not much taking time and again why to waste time and money to the outside if you can do it and we people are IT people right so obviously we should do that so this is how I have installed my 32 GB RAM now if you want to check you can also check it from the task manager and you can see it over there that 32 GB RAM I have installed so if I just click on the task manager right click and task manager let me go to the performance here I can see I have a 32 GB of RAM okay out of that 19.3 GB RAM is currently used and CPUs this month so here you can see okay so I just fire this command which will start my OMS and it will take some time okay so let's wait for some time alright so when I'm checking that when I'm starting this command emctl start OMS it is taking some time and after that I got this error message not a problem you just try to start it one more time emctl start oms you just repeat the same command sometimes it will take a time to start it in the first time itself but later on we need to just fire the same command now it is starting the oracle management server meantime what you can do you can just open another terminal and there also you can check the status emctl status oms what we can see here the management server is still down so this is the service that we are currently looking for this should be up but right now it is down so let us wait for some time and it will be up and running all right so here i can see that oracle management server is already started so this is up and running okay this is what we were expecting so if you want to check the status again you can fire emctl status oms and here i can see oracle management server is up all right 
नेक्स्ट थिंग इज वी कैन चेक द एजेंट होम एजेंट अंडर स्कोर होम बीन ई एम सी टी एम स्टेटस एजेंट आई एम जस्ट चेकिंग द स्टेटस ऑफ माई एजेंट बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू मॉनिटर टू दिस रिपोजिटरी डेटा बेस ऑल्सो सो आई कैन सी माई एजेंट इज अप एंड रनिंग दैट्स नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम ओके एवरी थिंग इज अप एंड रनिंग सो वी कैन जस्ट लुक टू अवर ओ ई एम नाउ सो लेट्स कॉपी दिस पाथ यू कैन जस्ट कॉपी दिस पाथ ओपन द क्रोम एंड पेस्ट इट ओवर हेयर एंड देन स्प्रेस ई एम स्लैश एंड दैट्स इट और सिंस यू आर कॉपिंग सिंस यू आर एक्सेसिंग इट आउटसाइड द सर्वर नॉट फ्रॉम यूर वी एम वॉट यू कैन जस्ट टाइप द आई पी एड्रेस वन नाइन्टी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट जीरो डॉट लेट मी चेक द आई पी एड्रेस ऑफ माई मशीन आई एफ सी ओ एन एफ आई जी सो हियर आई कैन सी द आई पी एड्रेस इज वन जीरो टू लेट मी कॉल दैट and let's call this we need to log in with the sysman enter the password of sysman oracle 1234 and that's it so this sysman user is already available in my repository database and the password i which i have already mentioned there so i just use sysman and the sysman password and press the login button and it will start my oem so once it gets started you can see the oem looks like this and this is the monitoring tool that you will use in your real time production environment if i click on the summary here you can see the lot of details like how many databases are registered and how many databases are up and running all these details you can see it over here so i hope you have understood how you can start the oem and i will give you more details about oem and the other services so what we understood how to start the oem first of all you need to start the repository database second thing you need to start the listener third thing you need to start the oms and the fourth and which is really important where you are going to monitor your database you need to start the agent so these are the four things are there which you need to start in order to start the oem in later lectures i'll discuss about more about the oem so if you like this video please do like subscribe and share this channel and if you are looking for real time database training definitely you can contact me bye bye see you again with the next video bye